Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I did these Ethiopian opal inspired nails. Here is the ring I was inspired by. Now let's get on to the nails. So if you're interested in seeing how I got the base for these nails, then I will leave the link down below to my last video. And I'm just going to go in with some primer and the gel polish that I will be using. I will leave all the names down below. This is just a clear iridescent glitter top coat. I really like the iridescent that it has and I thought it would be perfect for these nails. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the nails and then pop them into my lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go in with all these different gel polishes just to kind of get like a rainbowish effect on them. If you notice, the opal has different colors all in it, which is why I love it so much. So the blue that I'm using is actually a glow-in-the-dark polish, but I could not get a good picture of them glowing, but they do glow not as much as the solar color dust, but I didn't have any of that, so I just chose to use this blue polish. And again, I just went in with all the colors, and before I cure them, I do go ahead and clean up the sides of the nails. And then I do a full 30 second cure. So here's what they look like. Now I'm going to go back in with that iridescent polish and just add some more iridescent to the look. And again, I just do one layer, clean up the sides, and then pop it into the lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go in with this milky white color. It is really sheer, but perfect for this set. It takes a lot of layers to build up the color, probably about six, but that's what makes it so perfect for this uh, nail design. If you don't have a color like that, you could mix a little bit of clear gel polish or regular polish and some white gel polish or regular polish and then make your own. Now I'm going to go in with these, I'm not sure what they are called, but they are iridescent. They have like that iridescent sh uh, color shifting look. And I just put a bunch of them on and I'm going to go back in with both of the polishes, but I only show me going in with this one. And after I was done, I went ahead and I cured. And then this is what the nails look like. Now I'm going to go in with some gold foil. And I'm really sorry, I had moved the phone and so now my angle was pretty bad and I kept getting out of frame I really apologize for that but all I'm doing is picking up the little gold pieces and applying them to the nail just randomly it doesn't matter if they're big or they're small it's just up to your press your personal preference So again, like I said, I'm sorry for getting out of frame, but I just wanted to scatter some of the gold all across the nail because in the ring I was inspired by, it is gold. And I really, really love the way the gold looks with this. So after I was done, I went ahead and I did a flash cure. I went in with more of the no wipe top coat, that way I could do a chrome nail. And you can you can barely tell on camera, but you can see the colors underneath, and it looks so freaking pretty. I love it. So all I did now was clean off the excess chrome powder and top coat. I did a full cure, and I did end up going in with a gold foil on the ring finger as well. I did not record it though. So 
So here's what they look like when I was all done. And now I'm going to go in with some bling. Of course, I had to bling it up a little because as you can see in the ring, the ring had some diamond stones down the sides. So I wanted to put my bling in there. I did not want to overpower the look at all, so I kept it really simple. I really wanted the opal part to just really show and make... I wanted it to be the star of this set. So I just go ahead and do this to the thumb as well as the middle finger. Now I'm going to go in for the final layer of top coat. I top coat all of the nails. I do not go on top of the stones. I just go around them. And then I do a full cure. And you always remember to finish off with some cuticle oil. I received this one from Born Pretty Store. It is a coconut essential oil. And I'm just going to be showing you. I really, really like this one. It makes it really convenient that it's already in this tube with the brush like that. And I have seen them at Sally's and they're like close to $10 and I'm not spending that much. So this one is definitely a lot more affordable. So yeah, this is the final look. I love how they came out. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think I did the ring any justice? <laughs> and yeah, that ring, it will be mine. I hope. <laughs> I really, really want it. So yeah, I really, really love how they came out. I really hope you did too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And I would like to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.